Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the name, max mark, physics mark, and chemistry mark, of n students as the input then sort the students based on some conditions so first we have to sort based on the max mark in descending order and then if the two or more students have same max mark then we have to sort them we have to sort based on the physics mark in descending order And if two or more student have same mark, same physics mark, then we have to sort them based on the chemistry mark. in descending order and if two or more student have same chemistry mark means we have to sort based on the names in ascending order so now we'll have a quick recap that is first we have to accept the name max mark physics mark chemistry mark of n students then sort the students based on some conditions first we have to sort based on the max mark in descending order and if two or more students have same max mark we have to sort based on physics mark in descending order then if two or more students have same physics mark we have to sort them based on chemistry mark in descending order. Then if two or more students have same chemistry mark, then we have to sort them based on their names in ascending order. So now we'll take our first test case. So in this test case, we have this student to be having the highest mark and this also so here we can see that the max mark, physics mark, chemistry mark are all in same. So we'll sort them based on their names in ascending order. So after that we'll have this one and this one. So here we can see that the max mark and physics mark are same but the chemistry mark is different. So we'll sort them based on the highest chemistry mark. So this will be our output. Now we'll take our second test case. So here we have ABCD and PPQRS to be the highest in Max, Physics and Chemistry. So we'll sort based on their names in ascending order. Then we have the other three where we have MNNO having the highest physics mark. So we'll leave in the third 
place then we have the other two in which max and physics are same but the chemistry is different so we'll sort them based on descending order and this will be our output now let us implement our program first we have to get the input n then we'll have the empty list called students where we are going to store the name and their marks then we'll iterate over that is for CTR in range 1 comma n plus 1 we'll have the name the max mark physics mark and chemistry mark so first we'll get it as input dot split off now we'll convert the marks that is max physics chemistry into integer format so now after converting them into integer format now we have to append the students list with the name max mark physics mark and chemistry mark so we have to open the students with the name max physics chemistry as a list so now after appending now we'll give our condition that is the students will be sorted That is students dot sort of we'll use the key function key is equal to lambda x colon so now we'll use tuples for our condition that is first we have to sort based on the max mark in descending order right so for that the max is in first index so we'll have one so we have to sort the max marks in descending order so we'll have minus then we have to sort the physics mark in descending order so we'll have minus x2 then we'll have chemistry mark that is in third index so if the max mark and chem physics mark are equal means we'll sort the chemist based on chemistry mark in descending order and if the three marks are same means we have to sort them based on their name in ascending order. So we'll have x0. So after that for student in students we have to print asterisk students student. So we'll have a quick recap that is we have to get the input n then we'll have empty list for students then we'll iterate over that is for CDR in range 1 comma n plus 1 then we'll get the inputs then we'll assign it to a student list then we'll have to give our conditions that is using key lambda we'll have our tuples that is the conditions based on the index and their order now let us execute our program with our first test case so yes we have got the correct output now we'll pass our second test case here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.